Hi everyone, Mary Ann Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts. I was just in my craft room and I thought I would just pop on and show you the thought process be behind designing this card. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Ottawa, Canada and I go live Fridays for sure but I might go live a few other times now that we're on the way to launching the new January to April mini catalog. There are so many beautiful things in this catalog that I just thought I would show you a couple of them today. Well, one card actually. And it's gonna be featuring this beautiful vellum. I made a card with it on Friday, so you can go back and see that. And I used soft sea foam. Today I'm using just white. So in this pack of specialty vellum, there is striped, polka dot and this beautiful one with the leaves which is the one I'm going to be using today. Hey Cheryl, I'm just making sure I'm not frozen. Yes it is Boxing Day, I hope everyone had a lovely Christmas. Just refreshing my screen here to make sure I'm still live. Okay. We're good. So these are the three vellums and today I'm going to be using this leaf one which I'm totally obsessed with. And I'll just show you, show you some of the things I had to think about when I was using it. I'm also using the Sentimental Park dies which are amazing. These will be available in the January to April mini catalog. And there's also going to be an amazing joining special. So if you're not a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you love to get a discount on your products, I do encourage you to look into it. And I'd love to have you join my team. So I just want to show you these dies. They are incredible. So specifically these three dies. Uh, I'll just put this here. So the bigger one die cuts out. I've used shimmer white paper. This is for the card I'll be doing tomorrow. And then this other shape nests inside. It's designed so that it tucks right into the two corners so that you can um, do your sentiment and then build up around it or not. I've used color on color, white on white, but with another color behind it's very very beautiful. So this one I'm not using today, but I just wanted to show you the three different sizes of these um, sentiment holders, I guess you could call them. So that one I'll put aside for tomorrow. The one we're using today is the smaller one. So I've just gone ahead and embossed in silver, wishing you a happily ever after. I just love that sentiment. And it is from Celebrating You which has great sentiments. Mother's Day, Easter, birthday, Father's Day, it's a great set. I'm also using today Stitched Green. I love, love, love. It's a die, but as you can see, it doesn't die cut out. It dies this beautiful stitched greenery trying to get the right angle here so you can see and I'm using that on my card today and then the other thing I'm using is another new product part of that petal or part of that sentimental park suite of products is the petal park builder I'll show you the side because of the glare so you have three different sizes of flowers and a leaf and this is really really pretty as well I love the different sizes of the flowers they'll be good for stacking up and all kinds of things and here are the die cuts from the other flowers in this set I will say some of them are pretty tiny so we'll see which ones I have the patience to use today but if you're just sitting in your craft room designing a card it would be fun to play with all these different sizes and shapes all right, I'm just gonna leave that up here. I'll put this aside. There are a lot of little pieces, so you have to be careful you don't lose any. I almost lost a couple earlier. 
and it always tells you how many dies are in it so it says 18 so you might want to put just the number 18 and then when you put it back just count to make sure you have them all because I'm telling you these ones are really tiny those are the two that I almost lost already okay I'm also going to be using I think simply elegant trim and I'm going to be using the silver is the plan and that's why I heat embossed using silver ink okay let me tell you how I thought I was going to design this card so I love this vellum so much that I want to make sure it's really the star of the card so in doing so I was going to use this design where you just cut off I think that's an inch and a quarter and line this up and then you would just adhere that down and then you have this beautiful front piece when you open it but the downside of that is you're going to see the whole message kind of through the vellum and I thought maybe that probably wasn't the best idea so I scrapped that idea the card I'm going to be doing tomorrow does have this similar design but further down so you could write the message up at the top and that might not bother you but it was bugging me so plan B is just a regular eight and a half by eleven and I'm still going to use the same piece. Now I did notice they're not all cut per perfectly. So what I'll do is I'll make sure everything's lined up to the bottom corner and then I can just trim off the top instead of having little bits and pieces all over that aren't exactly perfect. So that's going to go there and then I'm just going to put this over top. But I'm not going to adhere this to the front on this side. Just here so that you still have that little bit of an, um, the look I was looking for. Okay, let's put these here. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I think for this I'm going to use stamp and seal. So I don't want it to get all messy. So I really want just this edge piece. And again, I want it down to the corner. because I can trim off the top later. It's hard to get your paper exactly perfect. And that's good, I'll just go back and trim that off. You can see it's a little bit high at the top. Now I'll go ahead and put this piece on. I wasn't sure about adding this piece because these are so much more pronounced than these little leaves, but I think it'll be pretty. I'm gonna start at the bottom because I think this one's a bit short as well. Maybe my card base is a bit short I don't know all right there we go I think that's pretty so it does open so you can still see the beautiful vellum I think that's going to be good now I have my sentiment and I'm going to build all this up you know how I like to layer all my flowers they're hard to see when they're in vellum so my idea is to take some of this and make some big loops not too many I don't want to add too much bulk but I also don't want to take away from everything else I'm doing I think that's one loop too many so let's take one off I want it more subtle uh, yeah just want a little hint of silver let's try that yeah that's good so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this I'm gonna put a couple of dimensionals here and no I'm gonna do it the reverse I can move these around later let's make sure I'm going the right way because I don't want to go too much over here I'm gonna build this up with flowers so I want it to go like that except I don't like I'll fix that after I was gonna say I don't like these ones sticking out maybe I'm not sure so I'm making sure they're all stuck down and yes for sure I want these ones a little bit lower because I haven't really stuck my dimensionals really heavy, although a little bit more than I probably should have. 
I can still move them around a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to cut these off. A little bit more, I think. Let's try that. That's good. Let's go with it. It's never going to be exactly perfectly like I want, and it's supposed to look messy anyways. I'm just going to tuck this one. So I want it about here. Oh, I'm going to put another one on each corner. And then I'm going to build up some flowers around the edge. So that'll go about there. So now I have all my flowers. I have all different kinds. So I did do some out of the polka dot, regular vellum that I put Wink of Stella on, and then these are some of the die cuts from the Sentimental Park die set. So now it's just a matter of plain. I put my camera up a little bit. I'm going to slide it down a little bit. There, that's better, I think. All right, so we're going to start with the big ones. And they are going to go flat. So I think I'm going to be using a lot of glue dots. But I am going to pop some other ones up. So I'm going to put this one flat. There's another sparkly one. I think I'll put that one there. I'm not going to really put anything over here except maybe one over there. Here's another plain big one. You could lay this all out and then go back and put it down, but I'm just doing free hand right now. I do need some white ones though. So I think I'll just punch out some white ones. That one could have been a white one. Maybe one that's not quite as big. No, I like the big one. So we'll add another white one. You just want to look on how you're building it up. So you're starting at the back with the bigger ones, and then we'll work up to the front with the smaller ones. And I do kind of like these vellum leaves. So I'm going to add some of those. because I don't want to introduce any color into this except for the silver. And we will go back and make these look prettier. Okay, now I put a vellum leaf down here. Glue dots are your friend. I love my glue dots. And don't worry about being able to see through things, we're going to get that all fixed. All right, there's my little polka dot one. I'm going to add that right here. We are covering up these little flowers, but you see them on the other side, so it's all good. And I was wondering when I popped this up, which of these I'd have to pop up, but when I add them to the popped up piece, I don't need to worry about that. So my little vellum one, I think I want maybe this little one in the middle of it. And then I'm going to put Wink of Stella on it. And I'm not going to worry that you can see the glue dots because I'm going to go back and put pearls in the middle of some of the flowers. So I need something here. Looking at these other ones I didn't think I was going to use, but now I am. Is anyone else in their craft room today? We're over the storm at least. Now something here, or it could just be a pearl. I'm going to use iridescent pearls for this. That one might just need a pearl. It might be almost done. Hmm, something here. Even just a second layer of vellum. Or maybe this vellum one. This is one of the die cut ones, so it's got little tiny indents that you really aren't going to be able to see, but 
Let's try. The birds are out my window. They're fighting over the food. I'm wondering under here. Yep, I'm gonna add one more under there. So this is one of the die cut ones. So it's pretty because it does have a little bit of elements on it. So I don't need to go too crazy. And something here. Maybe vellum. Or, oh, what about this? Yes. I like when I die cut or punch out a whole bunch of them and just have them at the ready so I can just play around and say, yeah, no, yeah, oh yeah, I like that. Okay, a little leaf here. I want a little white leaf. So I'll add a little white leaf here. It's kind of big for that little flower, but I think it's okay. Okay, I've used a lot of glue dots. Actually, almost at the end of the roll. Let's go. Let's start putting these on and then we'll see what else we need to do. So I need a little one here. Whoops. These are pretty, they're iridescent, so they kind of pick up the silver, I think. So I'll make sure it's exactly where I want it. And then a bigger one here. just to the side of that flower and then a bigger one there. You can see how adding these just, I don't know, just makes it so pretty. Oh my gosh. So this was the one I wasn't sure. I thought if I just add one of these, it might be enough. So let's see. I wish it was almost a tad bigger. Um, I think it needs something underneath. I'm going to try this. Yes. Yes. Sorry, I can't see any comments. I don't know why. Whatever view I'm in, I can't see the comments. I've used all my dimensionals. Hang on. This is probably the last one. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to take Wink of Stella and add it to this piece as well. And I was going to add it to this one. It does show up really nicely on the vellum. Okay, so now let's put a big one in there. I love it. Now a little one here. You won't be able to see it a lot, but you'll be able to see it enough that you'll notice it. And then I thought of putting two up here. Let's try it and see if I like it. It's a little bit low. All right, you, knew, do you, do you do need to know when to step away from the card. I'm just getting all my other little flowers and putting them up here because it's hard to see them, especially the vellum ones. Okay, let's look and see. Wishing you a happily ever after. I like it. Hmm, here I could add a couple. I don't think so though. So now the last thing I need to do is just go back and trim off this. I'm just gonna see if there's any comments. Because I'm in a view that I can't see the comments.
So you really want to get this vellum. Just saying. There we go. Hi, Curtis Inc. The pearls are exquisite. I did pull out the regular pearls and thought about using them because I didn't want to add too much. But you can just see how the ear, these ones are bigger though. The iridescent pearls are just really, really pretty. And I think they really add to the card. I'm just checking comments to see if there's any questions. All right, so the last thing to do is I'll do it off camera is just trim off that little piece. And then we have a beautiful, I guess, wedding card. But it's fun just to layer things up and just play with it. But I find the easiest way to do that is have a whole bunch of things. Like I have my little tray of pieces here that I can just pull from. And I do have my punch because I did, as you saw, want it's more white and more white leaves. So that's a quick way to do that as well. Okay, so that's my card. I hope everyone's having a great boxing day. Maybe you're out shopping, but you want to save your money for the new mini catalog. There are so many beautiful things. Oh, here's the other thing I was going to do and I totally forgot. I was thinking of putting a piece of ribbon under there, but I really don't think it needs it. It would have been pretty though. And there you can see you've got the layer of vellum, but then when you open up the card, you still have, you can write your message and you won't be able to see through the front. Thanks, Fran. Okay, so thanks for joining me today. I hope you have a great rest of the day and I might be back tomorrow with the other card that I design I had thought of for using this same vellum and this larger piece and some of the shimmer white paper. So it'll be another uh, monotone card but I think really pretty. Even though it is monotone you still have the white. I could have introduced shimmer white but it's just a sh tad uh, tomorrow's card. So we've got white We've got vellum and vellum with Wink of Stella. So kind of keep it simple. It's really not a difficult design. It's just really playing with all the different elements. Yes, for, uh, Judith, I do love punches, especially this punch. I know I'm going to use this punch a lot. And although I do a lot of monotone colors or cards, I do love color as well. And there are some beautiful new papers in both the Celebration brochure and the new catalog that we will be using a lot and so we can introduce color. All right, thanks for watching and have a great day.